my domain is wikard.com and I have installed my team inside the another subfolder WooCommerce. Uh, in this folder, under this domain, in this folder, I have installed WooCommerce that is running. This is my domain, and in the domain, I have created another folder. In this folder, I have installed my team, and now our team, our WooCommerce team, is installed successfully. Now we have to sign in. We have to sign in into the admin panel to configure the API. And let's sign in into the admin panel. I have set the all credentials and caps also. And this is my this is my WooCommerce admin panel. And now I have to set I have to set consumer key and secret key for for the access of API. In the API of product listing products and go to the ocommerce.github.io in this repository all APIs are available of the ocommerce REST API and we access all products of my store and this is my this is my store this is my store I have installed I have installed two products and now I want to take all product informations by WooCommerce REST API. We will use retrieve in order. No products. List all products. We will use this API. This API to access to use this API. We need two credentials: secret key and consumer key. Their secret key and consumer key will be retrieved from the admin panel. So let's go to settings. Let's go to WooCommerce and settings and integration. Over here, from the advanced, you will see. You will see REST API. From the REST API, you can create, I have already created two, two keys and you can key another. Add, give a name of the key. The product and the information we will retrieve written right generate key and consumer key and secret key are generated then you can copy this And secret key. And now all credentials, consumer key and consumer secret are generated successfully. By using these two keys, we can retrieve my store products by REST API. We will use this API, this API, this API, and print this. Now, using this credentials, we can repeat my. 
store products. Okay. okay, let's go. Let's go to we can test this by postman. We can test we can test this API by postman. We open the postman. Okay. Plus And click on class and you will check. Okay. And let's go to API documentation. API documentation. This is. And you can see the curl example. And take a copy of this. Okay. And go to. Postman insert here actually in https example.com. Actually, this will be my domain name. My domain name means my store URLs. My store URL is this is my store URL. Take a copy and example dot replace by this. Okay, now the get your release HTTPS, my domain name, WP JSON, version 3, and products. This API will provide me all products of my stores. And now we have to set the consumer key and secret key here. My consumer key is key. Here. Okay, all credentials and my get method and all headers, consumer key and secret key are saved successfully. Now click on send. And just wait for response. Okay, okay, nice. Okay, nice. All product lists, all product lists now available in the in the as a response, and that summarizes the summarizes these things. This is my API. API. We say we have set two credentials: consumer key and secret key. Consumer secret. Uh, this and after click on send. And it gives us uh, the response all properties. All properties dress. Let's go to my store to verify the product list. Kit dress and shirt. One is kit dress. And there is pant. That means all products is this product. Product API responds as all product lists from my stores. By this way, we can get all product lists from my WooCommerce stores by product API. For this reason, we need two credentials, consumer key and consumer secret. And we can integrate this code in our live projects. You can get a code from here. And it, it gives us a code snippet.
https just you have to put this code in your project and it will it, it and by by using this you can integrate your woocommerce product to in other websites let's let's see I product list response. Credit can be integrated to other products. Let's see. We have used this API for commerce store domain, WP Jason's products and consumer key, consumer key and consumer secret. Consumer secret. Uh, by using curl, we have implemented this. And curl is a PSP method to get to use API in your PSP projects and by this way we can the all JSON result here and we get we extract all product information here and let's go to our library website WooCommerce Let's see the integration of WooCommerce, WooCommerce product to other website and our consumer key and secret key are available here and this is my store domain and click on input. And all products are available, WooCommerce product, all, all of my WooCommerce stores products are available. To this website and my story is this is key dress chart and other products and and now these products are available in my other project this is kids dress pant and these three products are available both of my WooCommerce size and other size by this way by using the WooCommerce products API we can use we can delete WooCommerce products to other websites. It's very easy. Just there are four steps. There are four steps. Have to install WooCommerce theme into your domain, and you have to create consumer key and secret key from the WooCommerce admin panel. And now we have to use we have to use products API uh, using these three credentials: consumer key and secret key. And for this, we can test it by uh, Postman. Postman and from the postman we can we can take the curl code this curl code we can implement in our third party project thank you for watching if you got if you feel good from this tutorial please share and like thank you